Hello, YouTube! We're back with the VIP series, and this is our first episode since the big spendathon that we did last episode for Black Friday. The frame's still there, we got our beautiful little picture, and we still have our E5 Sherlock. Now, across the week, because of the card we bought, we've got a ton of spirit and a ton of gold, which is going to be really nice and help us level Sherlock up. So I'm going to see how high we can get him with a quick upgrade. Are you kidding me? That spirit is hardly enough. We just get him up to 280. Ah, this is going to be tough, man. There's got to be more spirit we can get somewhere. Really? You're going to do that to me? You know what? I'm going to get his stone up first. Because we're going to need something on him. A decent stone. So let's begin by upgrading Sherlock's stone. And we're going to try and build him in a way that he's able to do well at the seal land. Then we're going to give him a golden crown. And we're going to give the sword flash a punisher. And hopefully between the two of them, we'll be able to get this cleared. That said, Augustus Magic Ball might be the right call. A Golden Crown on Sword Flash might be the right call. So we're just going to have to wait and see. But for now, I think we're going to be fine. I want to get this to a point where we got a good stone on Sherlock. So Celestial 6 is a place I'll stop. Celestial 5 as well, I won't mind stopping at. Attack, attack, precision. Crit damage, crit. That's not very good. Block HP. Do we hold on block HP? 23% HP. Or do we go again? And then if that doesn't work, go again and get him a soul stone. Ooh, tough. Really tough. It's a week until my monthly events reset. So it's a week until I can claim some more rewards from here. And also Fusion and Awakening will reset. Which is when I'm going to go ahead and tidy up all of this. Because we have so many 5-star heroes right now. It's kind of crazy. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do... Oh, screw it. We'll just go ahead. We'll go ahead and just push this up a little higher. So, one more level. Oh, that's good. That's way better. HP attack, holy damage. That's neat. And... Even woo! Sub -ended yeet, not like this. Hey, Tom So. Thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated, buddy. If you want to be like Tom So and subscribe, join us at twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump. Anyway, let's get back to leveling up Sherlock. Do I buy spirit? Mm, maybe. Let's have a look at the marketplace. How much is spirit going to cost me? Oh, is it even worth it? Is it even worth buying? It's a little bit. I can get 20 mil. Is 20 mil worth it? Yeah. I mean, I've picked it up now, so I've got to commit. But how many more levels is that going to be? Enough to get me to 290, maybe? Not even. Balls. Wow. Nice one. Let's claim from campaign, then. There we go. Get some stuff in here. Beautiful. Ugh. Right. Gate of the Void's got a dot on it. Is that just Void Vortex? Yeah, it is. Oh! Void Vortex gives spirit. Well, that's good to know. There we go. That's awesome. All right. We're going to use the spirit from there. 290. Hooray. That was cool. What a happy accident. Now, we're going to have to give him Unbending Will. HP, we're going to give him Control Purify and all the stuff to protect him. So, ooh, Vitality to increase the effect of being healed, maybe? Nah, Crit Defense. Yes, less Crit Damage received. And we'll also go with Vitality there. So, that's all good. Sherlock's looking pretty nice. We've got Attack HP, Holy Damage. Not the best stone for him, not the worst stone for him. But I would like to give him some gear. So, do we have mage gear? No. Ooh, wow. Okay. In that case, we're just going to have to go and run him with two and two split. Now, if you've never seen this before and you're new, basically, by going two and two split, we get the 15% boost from the glory suit and we get this 16% boost from the flame suit, which is better than just going all in on the flame, which would be 16 plus 8, which is 24%, but instead we're getting 16 plus 15, which is a whopping 31%, so it's obviously just better. Now, Sherlock's going to need a golden crown, which is currently on Eloise, so we're going to take that off Eloise, we're going to go put this on Sherlock, and so far, so good. We got ourselves a nice, chunky boy. Unfortunately, we can't put a skin on him because every Sherlock skin is festival limited for an annoying reason. As you can see here, this was limited for the Shishi event. This one was limited for the fourth anniversary. And this one over here is an ace skin, so it's even harder to get. Amazing. Now, given all that, we're going to need to put some imprints on him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this Eloise and we're going to take the imprints off of her. It's going to cost me 500. We're going to get some imprints back. And we can start upgrading Sherlock. So let's go around the imprint map and get him to 
pretty much maxed out. That's my plan here. That would be pretty good. So we're going round. Here we go. This is going to improve his attack, his damage reduction, and his speed and his HP. So that's all really good. Let's carry on and give him some more stuff. Going to take him even higher. And also by doing this, we're going to improve the bonuses he gives Sword Flash because he's a tenant for Sword Flash. So that's also really, really, really good. So that makes our Sword Flash stronger. Now, I'm not sure how far into Seal Land we're going to get with this. I don't even know if we're going to beat Seal Land 22. I'd like to think we can. It doesn't seem like an impossible feat. So I'm hoping it's doable. Now, we're going to keep going around here until we need a 10-star hero, which we do now. So if we go back, we go to the bag, and we go and find ourselves a 9-star hero. I believe there's one in shard form. Yes, there's a dummy right here. You might remember, guys, we have a Karma that we built up. We can now get that Karma to 10-star. Where are you? There she is. So this Karma, we're going to put two copies of Karma in there. We're going to put in the sex star Death Sworn, and we're going to put in a 9-star Puppet. And just like that, we have a 10-star Karma. And we've never built a 10-star karma before, so that's under the hero avatar unlocked. And now we're going to go and get ourselves a void for Shirley Boy. So, Sherlock, have this. Beautiful. Look at that. And hey, Aron, you've missed me? Well, I've missed you too, man. Good to have you back here. Awesome. Lovely. And you can't get critted on CLM 21 plus, so shelter on Sherlock is useless. Put by Vitality as that second enable. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. If he's got any healing on him. I don't know if he does. But yeah, I'll stick that in. We could even go with Lethal Fight Back if you want Sherlock to smack. But yeah, in fact, of being healed, boosting up, that's all good. So yeah, now we need to think of the rest of the team. We know Sword Flash is just going to be built nice and aggressively. In fact, do we want to go with Attack Attack, Holy Damage, or Speed Crit? Hmm, both are good options. Or even crit crit attack. You know what? We'll go crit crit attack punisher and just go flat out big damage. That'll be nice. Oh, actually, no. You go crit crit attack if you're using antlers cane. We're not going to be using antlers cane. So let's go with attack attack holy damage. And where is my punisher of immortal? There it is. It's on faith blade. Now, is there a way we can upgrade this? Let's have a look. So almost workshop. Hello, you. Can we get some more of this stuff? Not with what we've got there, but actually if we go to the bag, we go to our artifacts, we got ourselves a Celestial Island journey back, which means we got some orange artifact exclusive fragments in return. And we got ourselves the Barrier of Destiny and the Sword of Justice. Why? They're so good! <laughs> They're really, really good exclusive artifacts. Oh, that's just mean. Both of these are really, really strong. I kind of want to keep them. I really want to keep them. Ah, that's mean. Right, what about these guys? We got ourselves two winged messengers, two plate of courageouses, and an echo of death. That's still really good. I am high rolling on these today. What else can we pull out? Just all these red ones. I don't really care about the red ones. Their power doesn't impact me too much. And I better keep them. I kind of want to keep them. I'll level with you guys. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to keep the Barrier of Destiny and that sword. So I am going to try to keep them around, provided I don't need their materials. So we're going to go ahead and destroy all the red artifacts. That should get us a fair amount of stuff. So let's just go and drop all these guys in and see what that takes us to. Okay, that's not too terrible. We got 1,200 there. Now we need to add in probably the Wing God Messengers and the Plate of Courageouses and the Echo of Death. 4,500 there. That's that's actually pretty good as well. So let's go back. 7-7. Seven, seven. Ah. I kind of want to keep Barrier of Destiny more than Sword of Justice. But they're both very good. Right? Sword of Justice, when it's upgraded, offers 18% of attack, which is very strong. It's not bad for a tenant. Then again, I have got quite a good amount of Kiss of Ghosts. So we can potentially get rid of it. So I can bin the sword. 3,600. That's not terrible. That will get me a fair amount. Let's see what else I can push if I'm using these purples as well. So the purples are going to get me ooh, a fair amount. Look at that. That is a lot coming through there. Because they just stockpile on top of one another. Are the greens going to do the same? Yeah, the greens are giving me quite a bit as well. Mm, not too bad. So actually, if we disassemble these here... That's going to push us to a point where, yeah, we just drop Sword of Justice. Sorry, Sword. You're gone. You're done. You're basic. 
Right, so let's throw down Punisher of Immortal, upgrade this to Splendid, very nice. And that's another Splendid artifact in our arsenal. So if we go ahead to this menu here, get our upgrade in, we now have Splendid AMB, Splendid Punisher, and a Splendid Crown. Our Demon Bells are still all split up. That's totally okay, right? That's just something we have to accept. But I think now, given we have that upgraded, our Sherlock's fine, and it's time to go and tune up the Sword Flash. So, we're going to put the Splendid Punisher on there. Attack, attack, holy damage. That means we're going to have to tune for damage. We go crit damage, damage reduction, and crit. That's good. And what does that put her in at? 78% crit, 140% crit damage. Okay, what about crit, crit attack? What does that take us to now? 101 with no need for crit damage there. That's good. So, we can go ahead and get this crit damage. And we could swap this for holy damage. And I think that might be better. So that's 30% holy damage we've just thrown in. What's that going to take us to now? 135 crit damage. Yes. Nice. We'll get our crit damage bonus from our Phoenix. And that'll be really, really high. So there we go. That's well statted. Well split out. That's a good high damage sword flash. We may find we want to put block on her. But for now, I think we're going to be good. We're going to use Fiona's to give us some shields, so we'll use a couple of those. And ideally, I want two Bleakers. When Bleaker dies, if you guys didn't know, let me show you what he does. Bleaker's got this sick passive, which, uh, no, not that one, this one here. When the hero dies, there's a percentage chance to stun the backline enemies for two rounds. That's very, very good. So let's see if we can get some Bleakers from here. I got 20 summons. That's a Walter. I'm looking for Bleaker. No, that's another Walter. Queen. Best hero you can pull from there. I'm not going to complain. Rosa. Uh, that's good, but this isn't the forest faction. Come on. Emily. She's kind of good. We might throw her down, but I've already got quite a good number. Ice Blink. Totally useless. OD. Okay, we're getting fortress heroes. That's cute. Another queen. Nice. Ormus. Not like I already have a load of him. Edgar. Ice Blink. Come on. Aiden. Okay, so they have added the heroes that they took out the elite hero pool and put them in here. That's kind of cool to see. Because we've had Ormus and Aiden now that used to be elite. Five remaining. Dantalion. Imagine if, like, Valkyrie pops up or something. That'd be really funny. Field. Two remaining. Can we get a bleaker copy? Margaret. And last one. Bird. Fair enough. That's a uh, low roll, unfortunately. Not what we were after. In that case, I'm going to go to the bag. I'm not going to pull one out of the chest. That would be stupid. Instead, we're just going to pull one here. And nope, that's an Ormus. <sighs> Do I pull these? Is that just silly? Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. In that case, we're just going to go with the Emily's then. Emily is going to offer us some bonuses when she dies. So, yeah, when she drops below a certain amount of health, Emily gives her an attack bonus. That's good. And I got two Emilys here we can upgrade. So let's just go and get those guys to level 100. So there's one, and here's two. Nice. So those Emilys are going to be just fine. We'll give them energy artifacts because we can. In fact, we'll give them fancy smancy demon bells again because we can. So let's go to our normal heroes. Hello. How are you doing, guys? Also, we're going to strip all their armor away. Just in case we can use it on the other guys. So yeah, that's all good. And let's go find the Emilys. So, Emily number one. Here you go. Have that armor. Have a glittery demon bell. And we're going to give her split armor so she has more health. And we're going to level her up. Epic. And we're going to do the same with this Emily. We're going to give her energy artifact. And we're going to go ahead and give her the even split, two and two. And we now need to go ahead and look at the honor guards. Actually, no, we're not going to use honor guard. I said it was going to be Fiona, didn't I? Yeah, so Fiona's, they're going to also take split armor like this. In fact, no, this one's going to take full stuff and a splendid AMB. This one is going to take split. We're going to give her, you know what? Radiant Demon Belt doesn't seem like a bad call. So let's go ahead and send ourselves in. Let's go fight. So folks, you know what? I think we're ready. Seal land. Here we go. It's going to be a tough one. It's 21 plus. So this is seal land 22. We're going to send in 
Sherlock, who we're going to put on the front line. And actually, no, Sherlock's going to go on the back line. Sword Flash is going to go on the front line. Split them up. Let's be clever here. One Emily on the back line. One Fiona on the front line. Another Emily on the back line. We've got our Phoenix pet. Is this going to be enough? I have no idea. Let's find out what happens. So here we go. Okay, we're just about living here. Getting some CC out there. Come on, Sherlock. Don't die on me, buddy. Okay, Sherlock's dead. All right. We're going to need some healing on this team. That didn't go very well. So, the best way to establish healing is to swap out this holy damage for block. Because that way, we're going to be able to get some healing in there. And I've just remembered as well, we need to go reset Sword Flash in the Cloud Island because we've adjusted stuff here. And, ooh, can we level this up? Uh, ooh, not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. But Sword, Sword Flash is getting a pretty juicy bonus there from Sherlock. Sweet. All right. Anyway, let's send ourselves back. Let's go try again against Seal Land. This time with Block. See if that makes any difference. So here we go. Okay, we're getting some dubs out there. Good job, Sherlock. Will Sword Flash get a kill? These guys are energy stealing. That's annoying. Uh, there we go. There's our healing. That's what we were looking for. Now, will she be able to do enough to get the win? Ooh, that was not fun. Right, let's go check how she's built. See if we can adjust anything. She's all aggressive. She's using control, purify, mightiness, unbending will. We are struggling. All right, we'll try again then. Here we go. Challenge. Switch your route. Let's go again. I might need AMB on Sword Flash. You might be right. Because she ain't able to kill here. But A and B might make a huge difference. Yeah, we're just not getting the damage. So if we go ahead and take the A and B from the Fiona here, we're going to replace it with a Golden Crown. If we go back... Also, we can actually give her a little more defensiveness. We can go with the split. Now that we're not using A and B, it doesn't matter so much. So there we go. And where's Sword Flash? There she is. We'll pop A and B on here. We're still crit, crit, attack. Her crit damage is not going to be as high as it was before. It's gone down a lot. So I will want to give her crit damage. But that's good because we don't need block. Because we're getting a lot of block from AMB anyway. So we're now coming in at, let's see here, 145% crit damage. That's nice. So we're still getting that good damage. Still going to be fine. Let's send ourselves in with AMB and see what happens. Here we go. Hopefully this is a bit better. So... Oh, yeah. Now she's definitely surviving. She's getting CC'd a lot. That's annoying. But she's holding in. Good. All right, Sword Flash. Can you actually get a kill, though? That is the question. No. No, she can't. Are we just going to go straight to round 15? Ha! Yeah, we are. All right, that was a bit decisive. So we're going to go back and imprint map. I'm going to remove damage reduction and we're just going to go for more damage. So we're going to throw on holy damage to try and get more out of her. And looking at everything else, we're still going to go with crit crit attack. We're just going to keep that all fine. Aggressive. Hopefully this is enough. All right, let's try again. Good luck team. And it sucks that they drain energy. Yeah, it really does. It really does suck. Uh, Sherlock not getting a health swap out there. That was annoying. And ah, oh, goodness. Are we too slow? Is that what's happening here? Are we dying due to speed? Yes. Yes, we are. They're all faster than us. So we need to be quicker. Okay. That's really important to know. So we need to buff up sword flashes speed so we're gonna go switch this to enabling growth hopefully that makes a difference seal land back in we go will we go first let's find out nope still not quick enough so we're gonna have to go and make ourselves even quicker and if we can't get faster than this we're gonna have to use a speed stone and totally reevaluate what we're doing right now so there we go enabling growth 
Let's try again. Seal land. And no, still not enough speed. So we are going to have to switch to a speed stone. As we have just learned. So. I have speed crit. It's not as good as speed attack. But it does offer us more crit. It's crit, crit damage. The crit damage isn't amazing here. So we're going to go find holy damage. Swap this for crit damage. Uh, oh no, we've already got that in. Oh, wow. We've already got crit damage in. Okay. That's going to really suck. We're going to go back to attack. And I'm going to see if we're quick enough with just the speed stone. Not speed imprints. Let's find out. Here we go. Battle. Attack. Will we get the kills? Yes. There we go. Now we're fast enough. Good to see. So she will hopefully get some more attacks out. She's been horrified now. We're getting CC'd there. Did manage to heal, which is good. Phoenix is out. Will we get a kill? Come on. Embedding will has been triggered. Not dealing near enough damage here. And we are dead. Wow. Okay. Sword flash. Not surviving. Terrifying. But that does feel good. So we can try again. I don't think we're going to be able to do this, guys. Seal land is just super tricky. Our Sherlock doesn't have enough health. We're not getting any CC out there. And we are relying just on Sword Flash to do this. This is a really tricky wave. Really tricky time. There we go. We did get a kill. We are healed. Oh, they steal energy. And it sucks so much. Because we're not getting an active skill out. And by not getting an active skill... We're getting stopped from doing what we need to do, which is kill. Come on, here we go. Oh, so close to getting that active skill. Will we get it? There we go. We did on one. Just didn't get enough active skills out, though. Really unlucky. Taken to round 15. So what we need to do here is just not low roll. It's that simple. I'm going to put Sherlock at the front and Sword Flash at the back. Let's see if that makes any difference. So yeah, Sherlock's taking a lot less hits, which is really good. So this feels a lot more comfortable. And if we can dove the guys that energy steal, we'll be able to do a lot more damage. Sword Flash having an active lining up there with Phoenix. Beautiful. This feels a lot better. Literally changing their positions made all the difference. The artifact currently on Sword Flash is an Augustus Magic Ball with a speed crit stone. And this is actually working real nice. So now we're going to go kill this last fella. See if we can take him down. Oh yeah. I think we got him. Yes. Round 14. That was close. Okay. Now we got these boys. I don't know if these guys energy steal. I don't know what line they hit. They might be hitting the front line. Uh, oh, they seem random. Okay. Sherlock with the swaps. Dove coming out there. Come on. Let's keep it up. Good luck, Sword Flash, with the active skill. Lining up beautifully with Phoenix, and yep, absolutely smacking down. Very nice. Another kill there. Way before round 10. These guys significantly weaker because they can't steal our energy. It's amazing the difference that makes. So let's see what happens now if we have the guy that hits and the guy that steals working together. Let's see if this can mess us up. Or actually work out nicely for us. Ooh, Sherlock not getting any good CC there yet. That's unfortunate. Ooh, finally a dove has come out. It's good to see. Okay. Can he get another dove? Mr. Sherlock has an active. And oh, he got the double dove. Beautiful. Let's go. Sword Flash. Killing that guy at the back. We've got two remaining as we approach round nine. Woo! Nearly, nearly killing that guy at the front there. We nearly got him. Oh, he's gone. Now we just got to focus on this guy at the back. He will energy steal, but if we dove him, he won't get the chance to. Doesn't matter. Basic gets the kill. Nice. And here we go. Seal land 22.4. The boss wave. This is the one. This is where we find out how it goes. All right. This is going to be the trickiest part. Okay. Sherlock staying CC'd there, which is bad news. Nice active skill from Sword Flash. I don't know if she's going to be able to do this, though. With Sherlock dead, it is going to be quite tricky. This guy at the front still not going. 
Will we get an active skill? Yo, we got energy stolen right at the end there. That was really unlucky. Oh, she didn't get a heal there either. It could be doable. This very well could actually work out. It's just going to be a little tricky. So, good luck to Sword Flash. Hopefully, we don't get energy stolen too much. Well, Sherlock getting CC locked sucks. Is he going to stay CC locked for this whole fight? Yeah, he's getting annihilated. That is bad. Yeah, that sucked. That really sucked. So, Sherlock just needs to get lucky early on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Are we going to see it? <laughs> Not yet. Ah, right. This guy at the front is going to die. No, he didn't. Come on, let's go. Do not let me down. Okay, here we go. Sherlock isn't... Oh, I was about to say he's not CC'd. He did break out. But he just didn't get a chance to attack. He's too slow. Sherlock far too slow for this. Swordflash getting CC'd. That sucked. Will she get this active skill? No, she won't. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And what are the imprints on Sword Flash? Currently, attack. To try and get as much damage out as we can. Well, that's our enables, sorry. The imprints are... Uh, holy damage. Crit. Crit damage. We might need to go... With a little bit more. And can't we level up the Sherlock? Sadly not. No, we're out of spirit. And we're out of gold. Oh, Sherlock low rolling there. Dubbing the guy at the front, the one we're focusing our attacks on. That's annoying, because if you hit an enemy who's dubbed, there's a chance they'll break out, which is a little irritating. Okay, Swordflash getting the kill there. Will she get a nice juicy active skill? Ooh, she's healing. Come on, come on. Oh, that was nice. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, she's dead. I think there's a chance. We've just got to get that good CC from Sherlock and have him live, which is actually going to be a really tricky feat. And you need a Nosuke, maybe? No, a Nosuke is going to do nothing here. A Nosuke is not a good hero at CLN 21+. plus. We need a second Sherlock, or we need Sherlock to be a higher level, or we need Sherlock's doves to go off better. Um, Fiona is actually the hero that would offer some really good benefits here, because Fiona would offer shields, and Fiona is the next E5 we are going to build on this account. Fiona would be amazing. Fiona plus Sherlock, we definitely get this beaten. Oh, man, Sherlock doing his basic on the boss. Really unlucky. Really, really unlucky. Come on, buddy. You got this. And yes, you can use Fiona as a tenant. Correct, guys. That is why we're going to be building her. She's a tenant and she helps with this. She's just efficient. This is nice. Sword flash, come on. Let's see it. Get the kill on this guy at the front, maybe. Oh, almost. Almost. Ah, oh, man. It's when we lose the Sherlock and start taking all the hits ourselves. It's really tough. Oh, she's CC'd. She's broken out. Come on, don't get energy stolen. Oh, there's an active. Didn't do anything. That was unlucky. Real unlucky. I don't know if this is beatable. I really don't know if this is beatable. And just the saying, Fiona doesn't do much in CLN. I mean, the shields keep you alive. It helps the Sherlocks live a little longer. And get more longevity out of their protection. I think you're really underestimating shield, my friend. Because that's the only reason you run it. That's, like, the main thing she offers. Ah, oh, that energy steal against us? That sucked. And keeping the Sherlocks alive means not everything is getting thrown onto Sword Flash. Because the enemies don't all target the same rows. So, you're actually benefiting massively if you have a hero that stays alive on the front. So, if you've got a really, really tanky Sherlock who remains on the front line, really nice. Oh, man, Sherlock not getting any doves out here. Good health swap, though. Sword Flash with the heal. Phoenix is out, but we didn't get an active skill because of the energy steal. Oh, come on. We did heal up there. That's nice. There's an active giving us some more healing. Come on, Sword Flash. Let's do this. Let's get it. Oh, and she heals again. Let's go. Come on. 
Let's go. Active lining up with Phoenix, but no, it was taken from us. There's another active. There's more healing. Oh my word. Will she do this? This is going to be so close. Oh, if this goes to round 15, I'm going to be so mad. Come on, big active. Finish with the Phoenix. Yes! Come on! Let's go! Exactly on round 15. Oh my word, that was so perfect. The amount of times it was such a close shave. We would not have killed that if Phoenix hadn't have come then, right? That was indeed Valen Surf clutch. Wow, what an ending. The fact it hit that dude carried the damage over to the boss. It wasn't even a massive active skill. It was just the basic normal one. Oh, that was wild. Let's see how we do against the rest of these guys. This is now 23 we're on here. We're probably going to get absolutely annihilated. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Building that E5 Sherlock has unlocked us another tier of progress, which means we're getting more of these chests, more materials, and more stuff for the VIP series. So, folks, there we go. What a success. Sherlock did it with the help of Sword Flash. Well, probably the way around. It was Sword Flash with the help of Sherlock. But really, just having that tenant now, getting those doves and just high rolling there. Splendid A and B. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, fantastic. Oh, what a relief. What a relief. It's great to see us do that. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to catch some more of our content to see how we push forwards with the account further, see what maybe an E5 Fiona can do when we add her in. And obviously, we're going to go level up that Sherlock. We're going to get things to be a little more powerful. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what progress we can make in the future. So thank you for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy idling. <laughs>